project we're working on. The Monte Carlo that we're going to convert to rear wheel drive. You can see there's nothing in the rear of the car anymore. All the parts are in a pile back here. This is all the stuff we're not going to use except for the bumper cover and the weeds with a pile of parts that we're going to use to make it real dry. It's a Mustang we're in. This is the back part of the Mustang. There's all the mounts. All that good stuff. Muffins. Shocks, these awesome. Some other parts we're going to use. There's transmission. I think there's some more parts somewhere. We'll be hidden in that RV. I think. I think that might be the rotors. That's the plan. Monte Carlo LT. I think the owner wanted to call this Project Frankenstein. This is going to be a bunch of Chevy parts, Ford parts. I don't believe any Mopar parts. I think this is an 05. Right now, let me get the hood open. Come on, you stupid thing. Where's that hell it's even at? Well, they got the hood open, but it's got a 3900 V6 that's in it the wrong way. It's going this way, it should be going that way. Man's already put an LS engine in it, the 4L80. But we're not that far yet, we're going to tackle the rear end first. Then move to the front end, what year is this thing? It's an 06. That's an 06 money. eventually will be a rear-wheel drive car. Now I got a little further on the Monte Carlo. I'm just get all the parts off of it. One off of it. This would be the whole rear suspension. Gas tank. Here's the rear suspension I'm not going to use. There's the engine and tranny was in it, which is not going to be used. Bumper cover's off, probably going to use that again. As you can see, there is absolutely nothing underneath it. No drivetrain at all. And, if you look inside, there's absolutely nothing inside either. Nothing. It's all gone. Except for this glass. Apparently one of the windows got broken out of it before. There's a few wires and stuff left. Let me tell you, that dash that was in this car was a pain in the ass to get out. Should leave the struts in it. Plan was to hook it to this subframe which is out of a newer Firebird, I believe. Or Camaro, I can't remember. Now we'll look under the hood. There's nothing under here either. Just the brake booster. And I like brake garbage, which is gonna go bye-bye too. And that's the subframe. It still needs to be attached to the body. Here's the pile of parts that are going to be used on it. Not those struts though. 
There's the rear axle. I believe I showed that before. But these are all the parts for the rear of the car. And there it sits on the lift. Well, we got a little progress on the Monte Carlo. The front wheel drive car to rear wheel drive conversion. Scrapped the idea of the other subframe that he was wanting to put in here, which was out of a Camaro, like a 93 and newer Camaro. We decided to put a steel subframe out of a Grand Prix in it, which is the same body as this Monty, to make things a lot easier. Because it bolts in like it should from the factory. And we won't have suspension problems. There's the one he's wanting to stick in it, which to me is kind of hokey, but whatever. That Installing that would cause way too many problems. First off, there's no way to mount it in there. You have to weld across there to make it fit. Also, his plans were to use the rack that went with the Camaro. And it is longer. When you installed the tie rods on the spindle, instead of the wheels being straight, they were way out that way. And I believe he's adjusted that all the way in. And the wheels are starting to look more straight. But still not enough. So need some shorter inner tie rods. I believe you can screw them out. And you should be able to put some shorter ones in out of something else. Or you just need to install the one for this car. But it was leaking. So, not sure what the plan is. We'll figure something out. We have to definitely cut the firewall. Because it sticks out too far this way. We'll maybe cut it down there for the trans tunnel because that is nowhere near wide enough there to fit a transmission in. Plan was to use a 4L80. The plan is now to work on the rear end since the front end somewhat figured out.